name is Brian and welcome back to 100% Chelsea and welcome back to another video. Now just quickly guys, we are reaching towards the end of September now and that means we are getting very close to trying to hit our sub goal in order for you guys to win a signed Chelsea shirt by a Chelsea player. That sub goal is 45k guys so if you didn't know already make sure you go and hit the subscribe button down below, make sure you like the videos and comment on them. And if we do hit 45k by the end of September, you will be entered into a signed Chelsea shirt giveaway by a Chelsea player. But anyway guys, let's get into this video. Now today's video, it would usually be a Chelsea weekly on a Wednesday, but seeing as we had international break and Lawrence is going to do an international roundup for you guys tomorrow, I thought, scrap Chelsea Weekly this week, we're going to do an update video on Diego Costa. The man who's been forgotten about, well, not actually been forgotten about because he's been in the news all the time regarding his future at Chelsea. Now, you all have seen uh, my update video, I think it was about four weeks ago maybe? No, it may have been less than that. But um, if you haven't, I'll link that in the video on one of the corners somewhere, on one of the cards. Make sure you go watch that before this one. So you uh, kind of get the, the story if you don't know the whole story. But kind of just summing it up, what happened was Diego Costa had an interview with a journalist who works for, I think it's the Mail, um, and he it was he got interviewed during the Chelsea versus Burnley game, ironically. Um, so he was watching the game live and he was basically state, stating that he's been treated like a criminal, he's been nothing but a good boy at Chelsea, which to be fair, to an extent he has been. Um, he, he was a lot worse at Atletico Madrid, his behaviour-wise anyway. Um, and he said that he wants to return to Atletico, he um, doesn't want to play for Chelsea anymore, he won't return to Chelsea's squad for training, all of that palaver, that was re what was reported in the last Diego Costa update. Since then, there have been some kind of involvement and some progressions in the story. At the weekend, it was rumoured that uh, Diego Costa was finally ready to accept that he has to return to Chelsea, he's going to return to the UK and start training at Cobham once more. This came after Chelsea refused to sell him on transfer deadline day in Spain, so it was the day after the one, uh, it was the day after the English transfer window shut, which was the Friday. Instead, um, Chelsea refused to budge on their asking price of Diego Costa, and Atletico Madrid thought, well, we probably can get a better price for him in January anyway, and we can sign him, we can play straight away. So that's basically what happened with the um, transfer deadline day, why he didn't leave Chelsea. Now, obviously, after that, he thought, well, I've got no other choice but ret to return and play for Chelsea. Um, he is apparently going to return to the UK, and he's reportedly landing in the UK today. There have also, since then, been some in interesting um, quotes come out and some interesting progressions from the club. Now, Eden Hazard also came out at the weekend and said he would like Diego Costa re to return to Chelsea. He wants to see him back playing for Chelsea. He likes Diego Costa, he gets on really well with Costa. Alvaro Morata, he said he was looking forward to playing with Alvaro Morata, but he also mentioned he'd like Costa to return. Yesterday, which would be Wednesday, there are reports that came out saying that Diego Costa could be back in selection point for Chelsea. Sources from Chelsea had apparently come out and said to the press that Diego Costa could be selected again for Chelsea if he returns to the UK. Now, reports are that he is going to be landed in the UK today. I'm not 100% sure what this means for his future at Chelsea. There are two or three possible alternatives to what could happen. He could, one, sit on the bench and rot away. Two, he could possibly not even return to Chelsea. Or three, he could return and play for the Premier League team. Now, we all know that he was registered in the Premier League squad not too long ago as well. It came out that Chelsea had registered him in the Premier League squad. It was originally thought that that's because of his contract. He needs to be registered in the Premier League squad. Otherwise, he, there was no way of him returning to Chelsea anyway and doing any training. He would, he would have literally just refused to turn up to training for Chelsea, would have done, refused to do anything for Chelsea. Um, they have involved him in the Premier League squad and I'm not sure if that's kind of where it all got the ball rolling. I'm not sure if then Costa was like, well, hang on, I could play up until January and then leave. What is most likely going to happen is that Chelsea will try and get him back match fit, match ready, and possibly put him on the bench, maybe even play him a couple of times this season. And that way they can get more money out of Atletico Madrid if he ends up scoring any goals. Um, it obviously boosts his price, especially in the current market with Neymar going for 220 million euros and Bappe going on loan and then reportedly being 160 million euros afterwards, then Bele going for over 100 million. The market is crazy. And we should have sold Costa 
for 90 million in January last year. Obviously, we wanted to keep him, fair enough. We should have sold him for at least 60 this year in the current market in the summer. We didn't get to that because Diego Costa wanted to leave. The whole situation was made public. Then, Atletico used that as a, a, a leeway point. They knew that they could push Chelsea down on the price because they needed to get rid of him. Well, now he's actually staying at Chelsea. It means he could play. And if he does play, it will push his price back up because he is first-team football ready. He's match fit. He's ready to play. He's scoring goals, potentially, anyway. You know, so it could then push the price back up for Atletico to then go, hang on a second, we need to kind of improve our bid because he's actually playing football now. I don't know if Conte and Costa are going to put their troubles aside and just work for the team. Conte seems like a very stubborn manager whenever, whatever he says goes kind of thing. Obviously, with the, uh, should we say success or unsuccess of the recent transfer window and him not getting his targets, it seems as if Conte is going to be even more strict with his squad that he's got. He said he's happy to work with the squad that he's got. I'm not sure what's going to happen with Diego Costa at Chelsea, guys. I wanted to see him return. I did say in my last update video, he's never going to play for Chelsea again. I have since tweeted that as well. He's never going to play for Chelsea again, period. End of. I'm starting to rethink that. With the reports that have been coming out, it's a possibility that he could return and play for Chelsea. We all know he's landed in the UK today. There are going to be pictures of him landing in the UK, him possibly going to Cobham. We don't know what's going to happen. He could yet play for Chelsea. Guys, I want to know your thoughts on the Diego Costa situation in the comments section down below. Also, make sure you tweet me with your thoughts on Diego Costa. I'm not sure what I think of it, to be honest. I, I, I did want him just to move on and leave the club so we could kind of get past the bad press. But if he's coming back, so be it. You know, I'm not going to say no. I'm not going to be like, stay away from the club because he is a proven goal scorer. He does love the fans. So I'd take him back only if there's no bad press to come with it because that's all we that's, that's that's the last thing we need at the moment is the bad press like i said guys let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below on what you think the diego costa situation is going to turn out like do you think that he's going to end up playing for chelsea again do you think that he's just coming back as a procedure of his contract that he's going to have to return to chelsea at some point so he's doing it now to take his punishment I'm not sure. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below, guys. Make sure you follow 100% Chelsea on all social media links as well. If you did enjoy the video, please hit the like button. Subscribe if you are new. Try and get us to the 45k mark by the end of September, guys, and you will be entered into a chance of winning a signed Chelsea shirt by a Chelsea player. Make sure you check out my YouTube channel at the top of the description as well, guys. Follow me on all social media links. They are on the screen now. And until next time, guys, have a good day, and I'll see you soon. Peace.